Hello, welcome to the Peak District in Northern England. This is one of the areas that I teach navigation courses in. I want to talk today just for a few minutes about magnetic declination. It will only be a few minutes because from a navigation point of view, declination is very simple. It's not a complex topic. Navigation is all about being able to go from somewhere to somewhere else safely. And if you use a map and a compass, to do that, sooner or later, you are going to have to deal with magnetic declination. So I'm going to follow the footpath behind me up to a rock formation called Mother Cap. And from there, I'm going to go straight across country to another place called Carl Wark. Because I'm going to go in a straight line across the country, if I want to make sure that I actually arrive at the destination that I intend to, I am going to have to adjust my compass for the declination in this area. I'll have another chat when I get up to uh, Mother Cap. Let's uh, wait and see what happens. This is Mother Cap. Okay, I'm just going to drop my uh, rucksack over here and then I'll pop it down again. Just a, <laughs> I've just had a thought. For the advanced navigators, what any advanced navigators watching this, I just want to point something out. Today I'm going to use declination as the angle or the difference between the magnetic north pole and grid north, the lines on the map. I know that's not actually declination, it's the grid magnetic angle, um, but for today I'm going to call it declination just so that everybody understands what I'm talking about and uh, you know, it can be visualized. I'm going to go and have a cup of tea and then I'll crack on again. So what exactly is the magnetic North Pole? The easiest answer I can give to that is for you to go on Google and search just magnetic declination and you'll find there are thousands of websites giving very detailed information. Some of the websites are excellent and correct. Others are how can I put this? Others are less so. That's, that's the best way I can put it. The basics are that the magnetic North Pole is a meandering point uh, which is continually moving. And as your needle points at the magnetic North Pole, it means that the direction your compass needle points to also changes all the time. Only a few years ago, the magnetic North Pole was in Canada. And in the last 30 years, it's moved across the top of the Earth and it's heading off towards Siberia. So. If you use a compass to navigate, you are going to have to deal with it. Now, there are vertical lines on your map that also point at the top of the world. Um, they point up to a place called Grid North. I'm, I'm not going to go into that, it's, it's a bit technical. Um, but in certain places on Earth, the magnetic needle on your compass will also point in the same direction as the lines on your map, the vertical lines on your map. In this case, the declination is zero. There is no declination. The needle and the lines on the map are aligned. That particular, that line, by the way, is called the agonic line. But we're not making this technical, so <laughs> we'll forget that name. We'll just call it the line. Other places, you are going to be either to the west or to the east of the, uh, the line. We won't say agonic line. So your declination is going to be east or west. That is all you need to know. You don't need to know anything else about declination. You need to know if you're west or you're east of the line. Now, if you go on to um, the internet and you do a search on um, the BGS, if you're in the UK, you can search on BGS declination, it's British Geological Society. And there's a form on there that you can put in a postcode or a grid reference and it'll give you your declination for today or in any area that you want to work on. If you're in America, you can go onto the NOAA website, just search on NOAA, N-O-A-A, -A, declination, which is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric, I think, Atmospheric Authority. Americans, if that's wrong, please forgive me. Um, that will also give you the um, declination in your area. There's lots of websites you can go on to. So the first thing to do before you set off walking is check the declination in the area that you're going to go to. Is it east or is it west? Now, there are lots of phrases that people like me, <laughs> navigation instructors, teach people like mag to grid, get rid, grid to mag, add, west is best, east is least. 
The problem is you learn so many phrases it actually gets complicated. The only thing you need to know is are you east or are you west? So as an example, let's say you're going to go walking in somewhere in your own area and you find out that your declination is 10 degrees west. If you take, a comp if you take your compass and you take a bearing from a map, all you do is you add 10 degrees. If it's east, 10 degrees east, then you subtract. If it's west, you add. I can't emphasize that enough. If it's east, you subtract. That's all you need to know. There's nothing complicated about declination. If you get it wrong, it is a problem. As an example, let's say, I'm, in fact, I'm here at Mother Cap. Uh, let me get my map. Give me 30 seconds. I'm here at Mother Cap and I'm going to walk to Carl Walk. So, turn my map up. In fact, I'll, put this on, I'll, I'll drop this onto your screen so you can see it better, see what I'm doing. Now, I take a bearing from Mother Cap to the footpath, or the junction of the footpaths, just to the left on the map of Carl Walk. And you can see that it's 34 degrees. Now, let's have a look. So, it's 34 degrees. Let's say, let's pick a number out of the air. Let's say that today my declination, I've checked, my declination today is 15 degrees west. So, I need to add 15 degrees to that 34 before I set off. Okay, so I need to walk, I need to amend my compass from 34 to 49 because of the 15 degrees west declination. Now, I'm going to walk for, let's have a look, do a quick measurement, 1,000, it looks like 1,250 meters. What happens if you forget to do the declination and it's 15 degrees? Right, hang on, let me get my, uh, I've got a phone somewhere, I can't do this <laughs> in my head. If you get it wrong, if you forget to do the declination, let me just, uh, there's no way of doing this in my head, let me get the calculator up. Right, I'm going to pause this now and come back to you when I've done it. Okay, I've worked it out. If you were to set off from here on a bearing of 34 degrees because you forgot to add the 15 degree west declination, you would miss your target by 327 meters because you should have walked on a bearing of 49. Any form of reduced visibility at night or in the, in the fog or in the snow, missing a target by 300 meters could be, well, it could be serious. So let's just say, don't do it. Oh, this working out um, errors in navigation. Most navigation instructors don't know how to do this. What I'll do is I'll make another video on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, so if anybody's interested in how to work out errors in navigation and how far you're gonna miss a target by, just have a look at that video. So let's go back over what you need to do to deal with declination. Don't forget, if you're using a map and a compass and you want to do it accurate, accurately, you are going to have to do this. First thing, go online and find out what the declination is in the area that you're going to be walking in. Next, if your declination is west, any bearing that you take from a map, then you add the declination to that bearing. If your declination is east, any bearing that you take from a map, you subtract the declination. If you use your compass to take a compass bearing, then you do exactly the opposite. That's it. It's, it's, not, it's not difficult. It's really simple. There's only two things to remember. Check the declination and then find out if you're east or west and if you have to add or subtract. That's it. Right, I'm going to walk over to Carl Wark now. Let's actually see. <laughs> Let's see if my uh, compass work actually is as good as I hope it is. Let's see if we arrive at the uh, destination. <laughs> 